How to build the ultimate storage house. With 740 chests, this house can store nearly 1.3 million items. These are all the materials that you'll need to build along with me today, all of which are easily obtainable early on in a Minecraft world. To begin, start by planning the layout for the build on the ground. Use any block of your choosing to mark out where the pillars will be, and turn the grass into path blocks like shown to mark out the location of the walls. And the door represents the side where the entrance will be to help you position the build in your world. These are all the final dimensions of the layout. Build up pillars using stripped spruce logs on the locations we just marked out. The left and right side should be mirrored and it's a good way to check that everything has been built correctly. Replace the grass inside the marked out area with oak planks. If you want to save some resources, you can also use slabs instead of full blocks. And don't forget to replace the blocks in between the front two pillars. Let's build the entrance next. Add four trapdoors to the inside of both pillars at the front of the build. Get yourself on top of the left pillar and then place three logs above the trapdoors. Place a temporary block and two more logs then another temporary block and two more logs. Hop over to the other pillar and then repeat the same process until you meet up with the other side. Jump back down to the ground and we can get rid of all the temporary building blocks. In front of both pillars, add a barrel with a stair on top. To the right of the entrance, add a row of cobblestone with three walls on top on either side. Fill in the gap using glass panes. Add another row of cobblestone above with one additional block on top on the left hand side. In front of the wall add a row of leaves. Add flower pots on top and fill them with any flower that you want. I chose blue orchids. Move to the left of the entrance and then mirror the exact same window design that we just built. Heading to the back of the house, create a 7 high wall made of cobblestone. After which we're going to build the exact same design that we did at the front of the house. So follow along with me and let's build it up. Moving to the right side of the house, place a row of sideways logs one block below the top of the pillars. Then fill in the gaps using cobblestone walls. We can repeat the exact same design on the left side of the house as well. Next, let's create a 14 wide wall on the inside of our house in the very middle. Bring it up to the same height as the cobblestone wall at the back of the house. And then place a pillar of oak logs at the very end of the wall that we just built. 
cover the entire wall we just built in chests, except for the very highest block, so it should be 6 high. You can also add the chests at the very end of the build, but I find it a lot easier to do before adding the roof. We can also add chests to the opposing wall. They should be stacked just as tall as the pillars behind them, so 5 blocks tall. And then let's mirror the same chest layout on the right side of the house as well. Get on top of the walls, and then we can start on the roof. Add one full block, followed by two blocks made up of slabs, and then place two more regular blocks. Then simply staircase up to the middle using slabs. Repeat the same design on the other side, and you should meet up perfectly in the middle. Let's mirror the exact same roof design at the back of the house as well. Connect both the right and left side of the roof using full blocks. And connect the middle using slabs. Skip three blocks from the middle and connect both sides again using slabs. Do the same on the opposite side as well. Next, we're going to add the ceiling since we won't be able to reach it from the inside. Simply create a platform out of slabs that's the same height as the cobblestone wall that we built earlier. I'll also mention to add two slabs above the spruce logs on either side so there won't be a visible gap on the inside of the house. We can fill in the rest of the roof using spruce slabs. Again, don't forget to add two slabs when necessary on both ends, so this way we won't create gaps on the inside of our storage house. With the roof done, let's head back to the ground. Place a chain and a lantern in the middle of the entrance. Heading to the inside, let's add some more chains and lanterns with three block gaps in between them. On the back wall, add a crafting table, furnace, and stone cutter. And we can copy that same design on the right side of the house as well.
To finish off the build, we can replace the floor in between the front two pillars with stripped oak logs. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and kudos to all of those who built it along with me. And as always, a very special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and happy building!